the theorem is every bilinear transformation which has only one fixed point can be put in the form 1 over w minus alpha equal to 1 over z minus alpha plus lambda where this alpha is your fixed point. So let's start with the proof. Consider the transformation w equal to az plus b over cz plus d and let the fixed point be alpha then because we need to find this fixed point alpha so let's put w equal to z so for w is equal to z z is equal to a z plus b over c z plus d and on cross multiplying we get the quadratic equation in z that is c z square plus d minus a into z minus b is equal to 0. Now as this quadratic equation in z has only one root alpha so that this equation can be written as with one root alpha that is cz square plus d minus a into z minus b is equal to c into z minus alpha square. So comparing the coefficients of z from both the sides we get d minus a is equal to minus 2 alpha c and the constant terms if we equate that is minus b is equal to c alpha square. So this implies a is equal to d plus 2 alpha c and b is equal to minus c alpha square and also from this equation, I can get the value of alpha as a minus d over 2c. Please mark this as star. We need this later. And now I'm putting these values of a and b in this transformation. So the transformation is w equal to az plus b over cz plus d. And these are the values of a and b. Let's put them over here. We get w is equal to d plus 2 alpha c into z and then b is minus c alpha square over c z plus d. On cross multiplying we get w c z plus d w is equal to d z plus 2 alpha c z minus c alpha square. And now between these two terms w c z and dw, I'm going to add and subtract the term cw alpha plus c alpha z plus c alpha square minus cw alpha minus c alpha z minus c alpha square. So I have just added and subtracted these three terms so that I can get the term w minus alpha or z minus alpha with each term in this equation right so this is equal to dz plus 2 alpha cz minus c alpha square now taking few things common i can get the next step as c into w minus alpha z minus alpha plus d plus c alpha and also it is common w minus alpha from here and this is equal to d plus c alpha into z minus alpha. So you have noticed that with each term I'm having either z minus alpha or w minus alpha. And in the first term I'm having these product. And now dividing this equation by d plus c alpha into z minus alpha. So I get c into w minus alpha over z minus alpha is cancelled out so I get d plus c alpha and then w minus alpha over z minus alpha equal to 1. This implies taking w minus alpha common and I get c over d plus c alpha plus 1 over z minus alpha equal to and w minus alpha is going to the other side so this is 1 over w minus alpha. And taking this to the other side, I get 1 over w minus alpha minus 1 over z minus alpha is equal to 
c over d plus c alpha. Let's say this to be as lambda where lambda is equal to c over d plus c alpha. And to determine this lambda, I need to have the value of alpha. And the value of alpha we have just marked as a star. From here, the alpha is a minus d over 2c. So putting the value of alpha over here, we get c over d plus c. And the value of alpha is a minus d over 2c. So this c will go. So I get this is 2c over a plus d. Hence the required value of lambda. Thank you.